Gang, 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 it's your boy Lino. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're looking at Realm NFT, a resource management game on the WAC blockchain. It looks sick. Season 4 has just dropped and it's a game that you should probably be playing. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we get into the actual game, I want to give you just a quick rundown of what it is. So, as I said in the intro, it's a resource management game where you strategically utilize your NFT leaders to save the world from devastation. Sort of like Plague Inc. mixed with uh, a strategy game. So, collect resources, unlock regions, build up your in-game RLM tokens, and level up your realm, and much, much more. There's nine unique leaders, and all providing have different strengths and powers that can be used, and the leader's rarity are from one star all the way up to five star, so... Effectively, the better leader you have, the better benefits you get. So blending and leveling up uh, allows you to combine three leader NFTs of the same rarity to get one of the next rarity. So three one-star generals can be combined into one two-star general. You can use your RLM tokens in game to level up your leader, adding to your leader's value and rarity. The better leader you have, the better the game's going to be for you, okay? And then it's also a place to earn game, guys. So Realm allows you to play to earn RLM tokens. RLM will be used in a variety of functions such as speeding up, training, leveling up leaders, unlocking functionality, and many more to be announced, okay? So there's the roadmap on their website. Uh, they also have a really good white paper, guys. So 100% if you guys wanted to, go check out the white paper because it's really good, really good amount of detail. Uh, the team are fully doxxed. So, you know, make sure you get in and start playing it, guys. But what we're doing now, we're going to go over to the game show you what you need to do to start out i'm actually going to open a pack guys and show you if we get anything decent from that so let's get into that okay guys so here's the pack um you can see it's going for around 39 dollars at the moment which is a really decent price and um, you can see that in the pack we actually get 10 nfts okay so 10 realm nfts and in that you guaranteed to get six leader cards okay guaranteed the general leader nfc a helper card an epic transport card a swiss army knife rare to legendary and a one equipment card epic or legendary so if we break it down on the leaders so the leader a one star leader is a 27 percent chance a two star leader is 35 percent a three star leader is 32 a four star leader is 4.4 a five star leader is one percent and a platinum leader is 0 0.6 so don't worry if you don't get too well you can always blend up but effectively getting a really good leader out of the bat would be amazing so let's go open up this pack see how we do and uh, let's see if we get anything good i would love to get a little four star or above that'll be amazing kind of sip my coffee for a good luck charm here we go okay okay we've got something glowing at the back there that looks a bit crazy that looks a bit crazy so we got the rare oh that so we got an epic we got a cyborg helper card architect rare swiss army knife the trucker the general the general the economist the pacifist and an epic transport rate and capacity boost card so that's burnt on use so let's go back over to the game here and we'll show you how to put these into into play okay Okay, so here we go, guys. So effectively, this is season four. So just a quick intro. I've already done this on the main account, so I've made a separate account for this. Uh, it's important you guys just watch this. What we do, actually. You can see here, these are all the different types of leaders with different rarities. Okay? So you can see, effectively... Here we go. So you might be thinking, okay, what do I do? Okay, what do I do when I'm first out of the battle? The first thing you want to do, guys... Head over to the Africa, and then you have two free characters here. Okay, so you have John and Jane. We're going to go pick Jane and put her down in Africa. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to click on this button here and press establish headquarters and build it. So we're going to go to the headquarters. So now there we go. We have a headquarters here. So the info, this allows us to have access to other buildings. We can actually go and upgrade that, which is going to give us other slots, but we don't need to focus on that right now. And then the helpers. Okay, so... Currently no helpers, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the build and we're going to go build a training facility, okay? And then on this side, we're going to go build storage facility and then we're going to build some housing, okay? When I started playing this myself, I got I ran into a bit of an issue. I didn't know what to do from here because if you look at these tasks, okay? So you go to wildfire spreading, it's a three minute task and a preferred help would be a firefighter, okay? What you want to do is you want to go to mission brief. So you'll need to train some helpers at the training facility before you can start the mission. So if we were to go start this mission without anyone, 
we have a 0% chance of success. So it's important you guys go and get some helpers. So if we look in the top up here, we can see that we have 0 out of 10 helpers right now and 0 in training. So we need to go fix that, okay? So what we need to do, go over to our training facility, go training, and you can see there's an available slot. So we're going to go available slot and we're going to select a worker. Now it costs 25 tokens and we have 203 and we're gaining 5 a minute. So effectively within 5 minutes we can get a new one. But what you want to do is you want to go to this set limit here. And this is where you can actually move it up and down. So we're going to go to set limit and put our workers to 4. Okay. Now you can see in the top right that's now changed to 1 in training. And we also have one being made every 45 seconds, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to come back in three minutes and we should have some workers there for you guys. But in the meantime, don't just sit there being idle, okay? Go to your factory. This is where you can increase your resource regeneration. So we're actually going to go and upgrade this so we can get a bit more each per minute. And then likewise with our storage vault, we're actually going to upgrade that as well. So only one building in a region can be upgraded at a time unless you purchase the build permit at the research lab. I don't have a research lab, so we're just going to leave that for now. And you can see this is the housing. So current level housing, we have 10. But if we had more workers, we had, let's say we had nine workers, we needed to get more. We need to upgrade our housing to be more effective. So there we go. The factory is now upgraded. This means we can now get seven. So it's really starting to stack up. And you can see we actually have one help already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to here, mission brief, and you can see we can now add a worker. So we go cl click John, we can add a worker, and now we have a 20% chance of success. Okay, so obviously if you add another worker, that might go up to 40%. And you want to try and get it to the point where it's at sort of 95%, which is the max for this game. And that's going to give you the best chance. And you can see if you fail a mission, it will reduce the requirements for the next attempt. So if you fail, it will be easier next time, okay? But you can see that the workers are still going there. That's all fine. Uh, and we could actually upgrade that. We don't have the resources for that right now. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to upgrade this. And the reason we're upgrading this is because it's going to give us another slot, which is really important. Another slot is really important for our resources to be more efficient. OK, so now we have two helpers. We have another one nearly done here. And you can see how it's starting to fire out, guys. So <laughs> speaking of fire, wildfires. So again, we have two workers here and you don't even need a leader sometimes a free. There we go. If you have a better leader, you might actually have some bonuses on your missions. OK. So that's why it's important to get yourself some packs. And what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the other account, which we've already kind of set up a little bit just to show you what to start doing. OK, but you can see if you're a new player, the first thing you want to do is what we have just done there. You know, get your trainers, get your helpers going and then have everything ready so you can upgrade stuff. OK, that's the most important part of this game is getting your base set up, getting your helpers going and then starting your first mission. So there we go, we've just completed an upgrade. And now we can actually add a transport depot, guys. Okay, so that transport depot, I've noticed, is actually really helpful. So when that's built, we're going to see a truck here. Now, this truck is actually going to go and get resources for us, and we can actually claim it every now and then. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head down over here. We're going to go to Mission Brief. We're going to select the leader of John, and we're going to add four workers. We have an 80% chance of this going well. So we're going to start it. And there we go. So we'll check back in three minutes and see how we got on. And then we'll move over to the other account and start to use the NFTs that we got earlier. So you can already see how this is shaping up, guys. And, uh, you know, if you ask me, it's looking kind of lit. One thing I forgot to mention, as mentioned in the white paper, you can actually use Realm to speed up. So if we had some Realm in our account, we could actually go to Realm, just like sort of Clash of Clans style. You can actually use the realm to speed up the mission and complete it now. Okay, so that's that's an important thing to know. You can also see here, guys, that if we go to training, because we've just used those workers, we're now actually going to go and get three more. So we're going to actually go here and set the limit down to two. So we don't have enough resources. Okay, so what we need to do, go to our truck, collect that, and that's going to give us a nice amount. And then you can see, there we go. We just got another worker. On the on the working line if you will on, on the training line and that's going to allow us to continuously keep moving up in the game okay okay it's been three minutes and you can see there's no longer wildfires okay so if you just go to the bottom right where my uh ugly face is <laughs> go to the mission log and you'll see 
claims. You'll see the tick shows we've been successful at 80% chance. Uh, and then we can actually just go and press claim here, guys, okay? There we go. So we've just gained some experience on our leaders, our mission leader and our region leader, both gained XP there, okay? Very nice stuff, okay? But we have lost those helpers, okay? So we only have two helpers left now. We can go to our truck, claim that, uh, and then if we go to training, you can see that it takes 25 resources. So if we set the limit to four now, what we'll do, we'll just try and we'll try and get just a few more resources in the next few seconds, and then we can start one of these again. Okay. So da, 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 we'll wait for this to go over the line. Wait to get five, and we'll collect that. There we go. So that's going to start automatically, and then we're going to have a worker in training. Okay. So you start to understand how it works, and then if we go to this job over here, a mission brief of three minutes and twenty. A disease outbreak, mission one, level one. Similar sort of situation here, guys. If you go and pick this leader, 40% chance of failure with two workers. So we're going to try and get another two workers. That would be really helpful. And then we can then progress up the ranks and start to level up a bit more. Because if we go to the one on the right-hand side, you can see the reputation and the experience. And it takes an hour. The preferred helpers are three different types. So there's a huge amount of work. So if we, <laughs> if we do two workers on that, unskilled workers, let's say, that's 0.73%. Okay, you know, not great. You can see the plus pluses here suggest that they're good on these tasks. Okay, so we we're definitely want to be using these. So what we're going to do, you've seen this account. You've seen the starting idea, how you want to progress in the game. So we're going to go over to the other account with the NFTs we pulled earlier and start to rank that up and start to equip some NFTs so you understand how the NFTs impact the game. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're on the other account now, the main account, if you will. You can see we have five helpers and some resources there. We haven't done any of these tasks yet. So, effectively, we're not in too much of an issue right now. So, if we go into the bottom right again, where a lot of the stuff is, you can see my NFTs. And you can actually see the NFTs we have here, guys, okay? So, we have a helper, we have a cyborg, we have some equipment we talked about earlier. Uh, a 50% mission speed is really nice, actually. Uh, some boosts, so 100% boost for 12 hours, and we have no packs, and we have some leaders, okay? So, you know, looking very really nice here. So you can see on the equipment tab, you can actually equip leaders with stuff. So again, you see the salaries, you might want to actually go and equip. So we didn't do very well on our packs, unfortunately, so we, we didn't get the best. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to equipment, and I might not want to use this equipment yet. I might wait till I have a better general to start doing it but we can actually go to our leaders here and we can actually change it out so you see there's no region bonus for john what we could do is go to you know i, I quite like the idea of having the general mission requirements minus four percent actually the pacifist uh, of all team sizes plus ten percent so now we have our leader who has a ten percent team size so now if we go to mission brief we're actually going to have a bonus if I've, if I've worked that out correctly so what we need to do if we didn't want to do that on the other hand and we wanted to go pick someone like the architects so are building size. We can actually go upgrade the transport depot. You can see instead of taking 30 minutes, it now takes 27.47. And realm, you can see the salary of our worker because of it being a paid NFT. We're actually going to start to earn some tokens. Okay, and those tokens are going to be used for either cashing out or speeding up production. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go do this job again. Select the leader. And then, you know, we've already got Pathivist picked here. So you see underneath here, there's no mission bonus on any of them. So I don't think it really matters which one we pick, but we're going to want to pick one that we're going to want to XP. So you see the XP remaining 350. All of them are 350. So we're going to probably going to want to pick a general and we're going to start a mission. Okay, there we go. So you can see that's how it's panning out, guys. Um, what we'll probably do is we'll do a follow-up video on this and see where we've progressed, how things are going right now and, and how things are going. Because I think it's a really interesting game, Season 4. It's sort of based on seasons, so you want to be playing as much as you can in the season. At the end of the season, there's a leaderboard with rankings, and you get rewards based on your rank, okay? So if we actually go to the bottom right here, you can see rankings, okay? If we go last season, you'll see Realmaholic, which is a great name for the person who came first. Look, did really well there, okay? And then if we go season four, to compete other people, you just need to unlock level five and unlock asia and then once unlocked you'll be promoted to the bronze league so it all makes sense you know work your way up get your reputation up your reputation is going to be what is the most important for winning rewards and your reputation is up here in the top left hand corner the way you get that is by doing these tasks continuously grinding the game and earning as many tokens as you can if we complete this task we'll be getting 1500 
And then we might look unlock Asia, and then Asia has its own set of tasks, okay? So it's all starting to come together on how it works. If we go to this training hall as well, you can see if we unlocked it to level two, we might be able to start using different workers like the cyborg. So we're going to have to upgrade that to level two. But we don't have enough resources yet, okay? Do so you see how it works? We're going to have to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. There's no such thing as just taking the money out of this game like that. It's not like a clicker game where you just take money out. You have to be smart, strategical about how you want to play the game. Guys, look, that's Realm NFT. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do a follow-up video on this because I think it's a really fun, interesting game that needs a bit more attention. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I don't suppose there's anything else to say other than, you know, see you on the realm, see you on the battlefield, and I hope to see some of you guys on the leaderboard soon. Take it easy, guys.